morning, guys. What's up? It's Sunday, September the 22nd, and I am on my way to grab some coffee. I'm on my way to church, actually, and then, but before I get there, I like to stop off at the gas station and have some coffee, and um, I know I could have had coffee at home, but I like their coffee because they have, like, different lattes at this time of year. They have their pumpkin spice latte. They have a carrot cake latte. A white chocolate salted mocha latte. So, yep, that's what I'm going to do. And it's a nice day here in St. Louis. It really is officially fall. Um, it's 61 degrees. Last night it got down to like 59, and it's supposed to be cooler tonight. So, I love the fall. Autumn is my favorite time of year. So here's my little cute Hello Kitty coffee cup. That's so cute, isn't it? So I'll see you guys in a minute. I'll try to vlog throughout the day. All right, bye. What's up, guys? I haven't done a product review in a long time, so I just wanted to do a video on products that I love and can't get enough of. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I want to start with my face wash stuff that I use. I bought this Clinique Clarifying Toner um, Lotion stuff about, uh, I want to say in the spring is when I bought it. And this stuff, I was having acne problems, like my skin kept breaking out with, I don't know if it was the makeup I was using, I kept switching uh, makeups, using high-end makeups and then drugstore makeups, so I just kept getting breakouts. and. I still have some scarring right here around my chin. It's covered up now because I have my makeup. But anyway, this is a really, really good toner. And it's um, the number four. And it's for oily skin. I really like this. And this product was about, it's not cheap. It was like maybe $27, I must say. And this is the face wash that goes with it. And this is also for oily skin, made by Clinique, and it's for combination in oily skin, and this is really good too. I think this is $21. So these two products, I just love these, and I can't get enough of them. And as you can see, the face wash is almost gone, and I still have that much um, of the toner, but I'm going to have to go ahead and make that trip again and purchase that. And the um, thing that I use on my face to wash it would be this oil of Olay, like Clarisonic thing, but it's much cheaper. I think I paid twenty to twenty-seven dollars for this at Walgreens, and to me it works the same. It has the same speed and everything. Can you see that? But anyway, I love this thing. And I um, found these cute, you know how they have these cute little masks at Target or Walmart, and they're like on the side where the face products are? I found this right here, this relaxing lavender mask, and it's really, really good. It really, really it, um, detoxes your skin, and I don't know, I just really like it. So let's move on to the makeup products. Okay, so I bought this concealer at the MAC counter, and it's NC50, and I tell you, it really conceals every flaw that I have, and like right here is really bad. When I do videos and I don't have on makeup, you see it, I mean, and then here's the MAC powder, the Studio Fix finishing powder right here. I really like this powder. I like the MAC matted finish that it gives your makeup and that's for oily skin both of these are for oily skin and they work really well and they're expensive but you know it's worth the price sometimes when you're wanting uh, your makeup to look really good and I also love L'Oreal's True Match Lumini Lumi I have this in cool I like that it has the little pump that you can put on your, I use a um, 
Beauty Blender, which I need to wash it. That's so dirty. I'm going to wash it today. But, you know, I just pump a few pumps right there. And it looks really good. It works really, really well. And it looks good on your skin. And before I do that, I use a BB cream. Youth Coat by L'Oreal. I like L'Oreal products. If I'm going to use drugstore makeup, I usually go with them because they have really good products. And this is a medium. It's kind of light, but as the day goes on, it gets darker. But they didn't have like a deep medium, which would be perfect for me. But I really like this. It really um, allows my makeup to come on like um, smooth and professional looking whenever I use this BB cream. And I found this um, eye primer at one of those Asian hair supply stores. And it's, it works just like um, the Urban Decay primer that's really expensive. And here it is, right here. It was only, I think, $3 or something, $3.99. I really like it. It works just as good. And I also have a cheap mascara that I use that I like that works very well and I'm, not, I'm sure everybody's familiar with Great Lash. I like the brush on the end. I'm a stickler for what the brush looks like. If it's, if it's too big and bulky then I usually poke myself in the eye and I just, you know, I'm just not a fan of the big thick um, brushes. And I have one more thing here. That would be my Naked 2 palette that I bought. I really, really, really like this palette. I, it has all the neutral colors, which that's all I wear lately. I've been wearing the neutral colors. And it's very pigmented. Did I say that right? I think so. And it stays on, and it stays in place, and there's not a whole lot of fallout. So those are the things that I really like that I can't do without and that I would repurchase. And I would like to see what you like the things that you really like that, oh, I forgot, hey, my hair stuff and my bath stuff. Um, this right here is a bubble bath, and I walk a lot. Lately, I've been walking every day, and I put just a little bit of this in my bath water, and it I'm not kidding. It takes all the pain out of my legs because my legs are really sore. And it has eucalyptus and menthol in it. Those are the essential oils. You can see that right there at the bottom. And you can also put this on your face cloth and just, you know, bathe with it as well. And then this is called stress and tension relief right here. I, I can use this as a bubble bath or just a body wash as well. And it has juniper and menthol in it. And I got both of these at Walmart for... I think it's four ninety four a piece. I love, love these. I just bought some more yesterday. And I was looking for a good hair moisturizer because my hair tends to be really dry. And right now I'm growing out the relaxer that I had in my hair, what a relaxer is. It's a chemical that most black women put in their hair to straighten the natural curl and make it straight. And I've had a relaxer since I was about 18. And my hair is really dry anyway, and my scalp is extremely dry. And it seemed like the chemical has been making, it's just taking a toll on my hair and my scalp. So I wanted to grow that out. And I was looking for a really good um, hair moisturizer. And I found it, this, Shea Moisture. It's, it's very expensive, but it's worth the purchase. And my hair is thin. It's thin and fine. So this really this really works. My hair has been loving this. Oh, my gosh. That's the moisturizer that I put on my hair daily. And then I have the hair mask that I use whenever I wash my hair. And um, I want to put a conditioner, leave-in conditioner, or just condition it really good. And it smells so good, guys. It smells so good. But it has all kinds of good stuff in it. And it's really been working. It's really been working for me. And I feel like my hair is getting thicker by using these. It says it has thickening agents in it that's supposed to give your hair volume. So, anyway, those are the things that I like. And I would can't wait to hear your responses and um, you sharing with me what your favorite things are. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Wait, I have one more thing. I forgot to share with you guys my Hello Kitty cup. I just love this cup. I found this at Walmart, and 
I have a cup of coffee every day in this cup. It is just the cutest cup. I love Hello Kitty, so I couldn't leave her out. This is another thing, one of my favorite things that I can't live without. Okay, really, now this is the end. I'll see you guys later. Bye.